Police who detained reggae legend Bob Marley's granddaughter in Southern California say that race was not a factor. Body cam footage of the incident shows the moment Donisha Prendergast and her friends were surrounded by police. Well, a neighbor reported them as they left their Airbnb rental with their luggage. Maria Virial is at the Rialto Police Department east of Los Angeles. Maria, good morning. Well, good morning. Denisha Prendergast has hired an attorney and says she intends to sue the Rialto Police Department. On Instagram, she describes being left shaken by the encounter, and she wrote in a post that she was left in a very stable, unstable situation. She said, I got surrounded by police for being black in a white neighborhood. We are surrounded. We have to have our hands up. Look at all these people. Within minutes of leaving their Airbnb rental, Denisha Prendergast and her three friends were blocked in by police cars. This white lady saw us in the neighborhood. Too many black folk. Officers were responding to a 911 call last Monday about a possible burglary involving three black people and one white woman. No, we're taking our suitcases out of the house. Right, they said like in. luggage and stuff. Because so. there's three black people in the neighborhood, of course. Police let the group go after confirming their story 22 minutes later. It's about to be cleared up, and you guys are going to feel so sorry. On Tuesday, Rialto police released body cam footage to counter perceptions on social media that officers acted inappropriately. That video shows Prendergast and her friends moving around freely and joking with police. He's going to call the police. You guys are amazing. You're so, so quick. Police also followed up with a 911 caller, but only released the audio to protect her identity. I wasn't in no fear, just being observant. Interim Police Chief Mark Kling says his officers are being criticized, even though they were courteous and professional. Social media is really a challenge to a lot of police departments, and it's because of the inaccurate information that just is like lighting a wildfire. They're literally my first guests. Marie Rodriguez owns the home listed on Airbnb. Since the incident, she says she's been threatened for defending the police and her neighbor, who became suspicious because Prendergast's group didn't respond when she waved at them. Strange vehicle, strange people in a suburban neighborhood, and they're not friendly. She called the police, and I don't blame her. That neighbor did not want to go on camera, but she did tell me off camera that race had nothing to do with that 911 call that she made. She says the neighborhood has had a rash of burglaries over the last several months, and that's the exact reason why she called. She actually saw an Amazon delivery truck leaving Rodriguez's home just a few minutes before waving to that group. We did ask Prendergast and her friends to talk with us for this story, but they declined to go on camera. Oh. Raya, thanks. Raya, thank you. You know, it's so easy to jump to race on stories like this, but when you look at it, the neighbor was concerned. She called the police. They had the body cameras there. It seemed like the police were yeah. being very respectful and that it was a good exchange between the two. We live in such volatile times where you instantly throw race at something. But yeah. looking at that, you, I, don't, you, I don't see how you can draw that conclusion, looking at right. what we just saw. Yeah, a lot of hurt feelings. Yes. But I think, it, you know... And maybe the when police, you know, this in the case, the police did their job. That's right. And when that. you're renting out your house, let the neighbor know so when they see people there, <laughs> yeah. not, right, that are not you. That's, yeah, yeah. that's a really good point, John. Yeah. Yeah. It's news you can use. <laughs> FYI, you're going to see different people walking in and out. It's not going to be me for the next week.